Let's say you open the borders to your country and let in 7 million new people who had no connection to America whatsoever, didn't speak the language, weren't from here, here illegally, but you did that. That would make the society less cohesive than ever. And then you so mismanaged the economy that it was on the way into recession. That's the last moment you would want to make Americans hate each other on the basis of race, because if you did that, the whole thing could just blow up. Like, that's too crazy and reckless. But that's exactly what the current administration, Joe Biden's administration, is doing. Here's Joe Biden. Innocent men, women, children, hung by a noose from trees, bodies burned, drowned, castrated, lynched for simply being black, nothing more. Hard to believe, but that's what was done. And some people still want to do that. Some people still want to do that. Who are those people exactly? Vince Everett Ellison is producer of Will You Go to Hell for Me, an amazing documentary he has made that we showed you earlier, who joins us tonight. Vince, thanks so much for coming on. Some people still want to do that. Who is the president talking about? Who are these would-be lynchers? He's probably talking about Democrats because they were the ones doing it before. Uh, when Fair. we look back over history, the Democratic Party were the ones doing Jim Crow that was lynching and killing and castrating black men. And they're still doing it now. Um, you go into any inner city in America, the Democrats run it. I mean, it's a freak show, man. You got Lori Lightfoot and uh, Pete Buttigieg and uh, that crazy Sam Brinkman guy, a Britain guy that was running around putting women's clothes on. I mean, th that's just who they are. Uh, it's, 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 it's an insane asylum now that's taking over the Democratic Party. And we have to just start calling it exactly what it is. The Democratic Party heaven is an American hell. It is no doubt. You go to any big city and you see dysfunction. You've seen that they released this hip hop culture and they've destroyed every institution that protected the children from these bad things. And now the N word, the B word, the W word is being sung by these artists and they're elevated. They go to the White House in the Super Bowl now. So, how can these young men and young women not believe that they're not that? So, you got Lori Lightfoot, you got Joe Biden running for reelection. They should be apologizing for ever been in office. They're the worst president and the worst mayor in history. Lori Lightfoot has presided over a dystopia. Every weekend, we look at how many children are dying in Chicago. Um, we look at what Joe Biden has done. I mean, what are they going to run on? Uh, we want to sexually groom your children. Uh, we want to have uh, grown men go to the bathroom with your daughters. Uh, we're going to uh, keep your children locked in failing schools. We're going to let fentanyl come across the border. That's, what, that's the only thing they can run on. So what do, what do they say? They hate you because you're black, and we can protect you. Well, look, C.S. Lewis said hell is a choice, and it is, but you can unchoose it. They talk about systemic racism and, and uh, uh, institutional racism. Well, if it is an institutional racism, they are the ones that provide it because they run all the institutions in the black community. They run the schools. They run the churches. They destroyed them all. Yeah, it's institutional racism caused by them. They talk about white privilege. Well, let me tell you something. It is privilege to be white, and it's also a privilege to be black. It's a, it's a privilege to me to live in America. It's a privilege to me to be a Christian. And for the Christians in the ghetto, let me tell y'all, you can, you can come above this. You're an heir of Jesus Christ. You're a son of God. Nobody can oppress you. Nobody is better than you. There's no racism that can hold you down. Stand up, look at these people in the eye, and tell them who you are. You are an American. You're strong, you're resilient, and you'll get through this. Amen. Ignore what they say, watch what they do. Vince Everett Ellison, always there calling you go. us to Common Sense. Appreciate it. His documentary is out this week, and it's great. Thank you, Tucker. So,